Hi everybody, welcome back to Vida 2012. Today I want to talk about nootropics, which is something that I think a lot of people shy away from because of athletics. Uh, and I'll explain what I mean. Nootropics is using drugs and chemicals to enhance the human psyche and enhance the human brain to go beyond what it is traditionally capable of. Um, what I mean by this is taking a pill or something and for a brief period of about an hour or so, it makes you smarter, it makes you brighter. Um, this is already used, of course, in medical industries, whatever, things like Prozac, um, chemicals used to help people who have mental illness. And of course, people are quite aware of Ritalin and things like that, that people use to help with their studies to help them focus. And uh, that kind of thing. I wanted to sort of gauge your opinion on, because I don't see any problem with it as long as it's not harmful. A lot of people take coffees to get them up in the morning, to get their brain working in the morning. I consider that a form of nootropics, and I think a lot of people should. Like, we're taking in a chemical specifically to make our brains brighter, to make our brains smarter. So I'm going to show you what I take. It's not much. I mean, I know, that I know of people who take about nine different pills in the morning, and they call it their like god mode mix and they take it and they're like the perfect person for the day or whatever. I can't actually access a lot of those chemicals being from the UK. So I'll show you what I take. It's very small at the moment. But it, it, essentially what I take is equivalent of uh, coffee and tea. So <laughs> I'll show you what I have. The first one is a 200 milligram pill of caffeine, which I use to make me brighter, make me... Well, you know what caffeine does, right? It kind of allows you to use energy and it, it, it makes the energy pathway usages uh, much easier and it sort of gets you brighter but we all know the downside to caffeine is the shakes and it's a sort of getting sort of distracted and things like that so along with this caffeine I also take uh, sun theanine uh, which I think is a brand actually of L theanine which is a chemical and it comes it's 150 milligrams comes in this capulet and I take that with the caffeine um, on the on the box, I got ninety for about fifteen pounds. It says relaxation without drowsiness with a star, reduces stress and tension with a star. And I don't actually know whether the star applies. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Well, I can say FDA that uh, they work. When I take these two pills together for about an hour afterwards after about 15 minutes of taking them, I enter a state of flow. And if you're not aware of that is, a state of flow is when you have a consistent state of relaxed concentration, like you're, you're in the zone mentally. And it's really nice, and I really enjoy that, and I really think it's helped me out a lot with some things. Um, I kind of plan on taking them uh, to study with. I'm, I hear that theanine really helps with memory retention and I've got exams coming up and I'd really like to retent that memory and, and so on. But this is, um, that's nootropics. And this, this, there's a lot of chemicals, um, Pericetam, um, there's a lot of chemicals like this. They, they all do these, these different things to help people out. And um, I really think it's not as morally reprehensible as is put forward by the athletics industry because obviously taking a pill to make you stronger, whatever, is cheating, but there's not really such a thing in intellectual pursuits. So that's all I really want to talk about. I just kind of wanted to show you that, and to introduce you to this idea, and to get your opinion on it. Over the weekend, I'm going to be Eastering, so I've got some stuff pre-recorded, and it should be interesting. I don't know. Um... I don't know what I've got. I plan on pre-recording it soon, but it won't be very live. So just making you aware of that. And I'll see you soon.